Hello again and welcome to my channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, this little project I've got on this time is I've got to make up some aluminium, uh, well I really don't know what to call them, they're just like pins, they've got a step in them, they're going to be welded into the end of some tubes, so they've got to be uh, turned down at one end and then the other end has got to be turned down to a 31.5mm diameter. Um, with a, a nice big taper on the end so that they can be used for lining up on, into the hole that they've got to go into. Um, don't tell anybody, but uh, they actually look a little bit phallic. Keep it to yourself. This is between you and me, all right? All right, anyway, let's go on and see how these get made, all right? As you can see, this piece of aluminium is sticking out the back of the lathe quite a bit. Uh, it's, you know... It's a little bit too long really, but uh, I won't be turning it too fast, so it shouldn't rattle around too much. Uh, we'll see how this goes anyway. Right, well first thing to do is to cut these pieces off, the pins off uh, to length. Uh, there's 18 of them to do, so it's just as easy to set them up in the lathe and and cut them and part them off with a parting off tool. Um, I used the tailstock as a stop so that I could just feed them through the chuck and then they'd stop and at the same place every time. As you can see, I'm using the collet chuck to hold them so that uh, this, this, it keeps them, you know, it's, it's more accurate than the uh, three jaw chuck. So it keeps everything nice and round. So I'll just part them off with a little bit of coolant just to make sure they come off nice and clean. And here we are just facing off uh, the end before I then feed through to, to part off the next one. So it's a fairly straightforward job, using a, just using a facing tool just to clean up the end so that it's all nice and smooth and it uh, keeps everything on the same size. Right, now I'm reducing the diameter down on the end. I've turn, got to turn the step onto the end of these aluminium uh, pins. I've set up the stop on the lathe so that uh, I can just run into the exact amount, the 30 mil that uh, it needs to go back. I'm going down to 25 millimeter diameter here. Uh, it shouldn't take me too long anyway, so we'll, we'll just carry on with this for the time being. Uh, once I get down to, basically right down to the diameter, I'll just measure it up here just to just to take a check foot see how much more I need to take off. Once I get right down to the, the size then uh, I'll just reverse the feed so that uh, it can come back and just take a final cut down the end. There you go, there it is. Here I'm just going to send a drill a hole in the end because when I turn these things round uh, I can hold on the small diameter but there'll be quite a lot sticking out. I've got to turn down to nearly 100, 150 mil the length of them. So uh, I'll just put a centre drill hole in the end so that I can put a centre in when I'm turning them. As you can see I've put the three jaw chuck back up on the lathe. Uh, taken the, the collet chuck off. I've put some soft jaws in. That, they've actually got a step in them so that uh, I'm, I'll basically be held, holding them in the same place every time I mount, uh, mount one in the chuck. I'll just uh, have them sticking out uh, quite a bit so that, as I say that's what the, the centre is in there for. Just to support it so that it goes the full length. And again I'll use a similar principle as, as before. I'll just run on through, all the way through uh, the full length, 
take it right down to almost onto the right diameter and then once I've got them down onto size I'll just run the feed backwards so that uh, it can just give a slightly finer finish on the way back. So that shouldn't be too bad, that's looking quite good now. I'm turning these down so that uh, I just leave a step on the end, about five millimeter, just uh, similar to a shoulder um, to act almost like a, like a, a washer on them. So that uh, it gives them, they can sit down onto the, uh, onto the uh, tube that they're going onto. It gives something to stop onto. That's not too bad. Here I'll just put a, a chamfer on the back edge of the of the shoulder. Uh, it, it, when the uh, the people that are having these things, when they decide to weld them in, they're going to be welded into some tubes. So the chamfer will just help that little bit to, to get a weld on them quite nicely. It'll look quite neat. So uh, that shouldn't that shouldn't look too bad in the end. Here I'm putting a chamfer onto the nose of the pin uh, so that uh, it can just act as a, a guide for when the, uh, when the pins go inside another tube uh, to act, uh, act a bit uh, like a, well, just like a location onto them. So uh, just run this tool in so that uh, we get a decent chamfer on the end. Here we have the finished item uh, there's only five of them on the table. There's actually 18 of them all together, but uh, 18 on the table would have been a bit cluttered. Uh, you wouldn't really be able to see them properly. But uh, as I said before, they, they do look a little, little, little phallic, but uh, we won't go too, too deeply into that. Uh, they, look, they look okay. As you can see, these uh, steel pins, uh, are, there's a little bit of a wobble on them uh, where they've been welded onto the tubes. Uh, I've, I've put them, they're sticking right through the, through the lathe. Um, I've put the ordinary chuck jaws back on the, onto the chuck uh, so that I can run them right, uh, right through the lathe. As you can see, I've put the, the standard chuck jaws back on the chuck. Uh, so that I can have these uh, these tubes running right through the centre quill of the lathe. So, uh, but uh, once I've you know I've put a, a centre drill hole in the end, so I can put a running centre in just to keep them steady. I'll use a very similar principle to the way it, when I turned down the aluminium ones, and uh, we'll get them down to the right diameter, and there there'll be won't be a problem. It'll be nice and nice and straight then anyway. So uh, I'm using a very, very similar idea to what I did with the aluminium ones. Uh, they're turning off quite nicely. I'll put, a, put uh, coolant on them this time though, keep, because uh, obviously turning steel is a little bit more, uh, well, it, get, it warms up a little bit too much. So uh, we'll get those done and uh, then uh, I'll put the chamfer on at the same time uh, in the same operation so that because uh, there's no direct sizes to to go to so here we have the finished items once again nice and straight uh, there's only four of them on the table again because there's 18 of them all together i put them all on there you really wouldn't be able to see too much on them so having Hello again. Well, there you go. That's how those those pins are made. I had to make some steel ones as well at the same time. So uh, I just rolled everything into the one video. Uh, very similar, apart from the fact that the steel ones were only turned down at one end. They were already tuned, uh, welded onto the end of the tube. So uh, they were about a metre long. So luckily they went through the, through the lathe and there was about half a metre sticking out the back of the lathe, which wasn't too troublesome anyway. That wasn't a problem. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget, again, once again, I'll ask you to subscribe if you haven't already done so and look out for more videos in the future. Okay, bye.